Hi, this is Rom at Lance Hello Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add animated arrows, boxes, and circles in Camtasia 2021. This is just a random screenshot I took of a game that I've been playing. The screenshot is an Excel spreadsheet, but you can use any application like Word or PowerPoint. Once again, we go ahead and add that media by hitting the plus sign or just dragging it over from your media bin onto the timeline. Let me go ahead and resize this screen from our display preview window. Now let's head over to our annotation, which is on the left. And on the top, you'll see a couple of options. The one we want for this demonstration is the icon that looks like a squiggly line, which reads sketch motion callouts. When you click on the icons, there will be a yellow highlight on the icons, which of course, which is telling us which one we'd like to use. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the one that looks like an arrow. I'll go ahead and left click and drag it onto my timeline. And we'll try to rearrange it to my liking onto the screen. When I have it positioned to where I want it, I'll go ahead and move over to the right side. That'll be options right under sketch motion. There's color thickness and draw time sliders. You can see on the left, it'll show how long you want the hour to be there. Here I can control the draw time by increasing or decreasing it. You can see the effect on the left. Now if I play the clip, you can see it even better. Now if we move over to the sketch motion, we can also flip the animation by clicking on the box on the right. Let's go ahead and adjust the arrow one more time. We can change or turn the arrow by clicking on the little green circle. And on your timeline, you can actually control the draw time as well by just pulling and stretching out the clip instead of using the sketch motion onto, on the right side of the screen. So basically you can control the draw time by the sliders or by controlling the clip on the timeline. Great, now that we've got the hang of this, let's use some other shapes. I'll bring down the sharper arrow and place it on the timeline and adjust it to my liking. Once again, going over to the sketch motion, controlling the thickness by the sliders and the draw time. Now I'll go ahead and hit play and see if I like it that way or I can make it quicker, the draw time and hit play. And there you have it. This arrow looks crisp, but it all really depends on your audience. Now let's go ahead and take another shape. I'll just bring down the circle. You'll see there's two types of circles. One looks like it's drawn manually, and there's another circle that is a perfect circle. So this one I'm gonna be bringing down is a perfect circle. I'll go ahead and make adjustments on my diagram. There we go. I'll go ahead and control the thickness and the draw time. Once again, let's keep in mind that you'll continuously resize your clip and move around your annotations to where you see fit on your screen. Then I'll go ahead and hit the play and then keep readjusting to where I want my arrow or circle to go on my clip. This is a back and forth process and well, that's why they call it editing. Whether it's sound or video editing, that includes any effect you have on your videos. These sketch motion annotations really give a feel to your videos, a subtle feel that is. It just really comes down to your viewers, whether you want it to look more professional or not. And there's another cool feature we have is that you can actually add a zoom and pan effect to the clip as well thus giving it a more dramatic feel or bringing the attention of the viewer to a particular area on the clip. The beauty really is in your preference. I mean, the possibilities and choices you have are unlimited. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.